Hey sweet babies, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and if you'd like to support my channel, definitely use the links in the description box to shop or use the thanks button down below. So today we're gonna get into some of my favorite bedtime scents in my collection. Now, a lot of you have been hitting me up like, girl, you wear scents to bed too? Like, yeah, yeah, I do. After I take my shower, my bath, whatever I'm doing that night, and I'm ready to put on my PJs, I'm all moisturized and glistening, I'm definitely going in with a fragrance. And some of y'all have been saying, you know, hey, I want to get into, you know, bedtime scents too, and I love that for you, and so will your partner, okay? So for me, there are categories for bedtime scents. I have, like, my clean and fresh scents that I like to wear, you know, when it's that time of the month, and, you know, I don't want to be smelling edible and sexy and powdery and soft and all touchable and stuff like get off me bruh like don't touch me okay i'm i'm having i'm having my time right now okay then i have my soft powdery you know just really comforting you know type of fragrances that are just really soft and inviting you know then lastly i have my sweet more edible fragrance you know you, you men love sweetness women love sweetness too partners love sweetness they love for their uh you know significant other to smell edible and you know come hither and all of that come eat me up okay <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying? So people love to um, wear sweet fragrances to bed and I'm no different. So I'm gonna start with my clean, fresh type of fragrances. You know, when you just wanna just be clean, you know, clean and fresh and you know, just clean. I'm gonna start with this one by Clean Reserve. I recently purchased this. This is actually on my May tray. If you did not see my May tray, I'll link it in the cards for you. But I have really been enjoying this scent and it is literally clean laundry it's it's not like any depth to it or anything like that even though the notes say it is to me honey this is dryer sheets and laundry detergent okay i know this is not for everybody but i loved the way my i just smelled when i wore this to bed i'm told y'all like the snuggle bear was whole and be like i felt him whole and me every time i moved around in the bed the sheets smelled clean and nice and everything it was just so nice to just smell this clean fresh fragrance so this has grass lime orange jasmine musk woody notes girl i don't smell none of that <laughs> but i do smell clean laundry clean fresh laundry so this is a very literal fragrance love to wear when it's that time of the month i'm not really feeling good or i just want to smell clean and fresh i don't want to sell sexy edible powdery none of that I just want to smell clean so this one is lazy sunday morning you guys have heard me talk about this so many times it's definitely one of my favorite replica fragrances and it is just clean laundry clean linen but not in the literal sense like the clean reserve one this has a little more to it this has aldehydes orange blossom iris musk patchouli so this has a little bit more to it and it's not just literal dryer sheets and laundry detergent like the other one i also got the shower gel to this from sephora i'll link that below for y'all too but y'all that shower gel is a one as far as like the smell really sticks on you after you get out of the shower you ever use a shower gel and it smells good while you're using it and you might smell it like as soon as you get out the shower but not too long after that you run smell all like that but that one stays on your skin so well and if you guys know where any other replica shower gels are let me know because i can only seem to find some lazy sunday morning anyway this is a really good clean comforting scent and like i said it's not too literal but it still gives you that same kind of vibe this is like the laundry that's been drying out in the sun on the clothesline like back in the day you know what i'm saying like this is just really really nice love this next in the clean and soapy category is this by donna karen this is cashmere mist and this is the edp this smells so just clean soft and very soapy to me it smells like a luxurious type of soap bath wash body gel like shower gel type of situation and i just really really love this scent for bed it's just so soft powdery elegant shampooy smell and for bed when i want them clean fresh nights i love reaching for this so this one has sandalwood it has bergamot suede lily of the valley cashmere musk 
amber, vanilla. It's just really, really nice and soapy. Like, I don't get super sweet. I don't get fruity. I get that really powdery, soft type of soap. Last for clean and fresh is this one by Toka. This is Toka Willietta. This is my favorite Toka. I've smelled several of them, and this just really is the only one that I really, really like so far. So this one is clean, fresh. It gives you like a nice Granny Smith apple shampoo type of vibe. Granny Smith Apple is like the only fruit that I really saw in this, but it's so many florals, but they are done to perfection. It's so, so nice. So this has Granny Smith Apple. It has Ylang Ylang, Lilac, Lily of the Valley, Iris, Orchid, Rose, like so many florals. But with that Granny Smith Apple, it's just like the best apple soft shampoo soap body gel. Like I just love this. This is clean and fresh, but still has a little fruitiness. But the Granny Smith apple is not too much, but it's perfect in there. Like, I love this. If you have never tried this, definitely give this a try, and it's super affordable. Moving on to soft and powdery scents. These are really, really comforting, really, really, you know, soft and elegant and just makes you want to just, you know, lay in somebody's bosom. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like that. And that's the vibe it definitely gives. So we're going to start with one of my favorites, which is Narciso Poudre. This is the best powdery, musky type of scent ever. This is like the most upscale baby powder that you have ever seen and i'm talking i'm talking about johnson and johnson shower to shower none of that like even the avon powders ain't got nothing on this honey it's just so elegant and beautiful so the notes for this is jasmine rose orange blossom musk and narciso does musk to perfection cedar vetiver patchouli tonka so the tonka does give it some sweetness the patchouli is like such a clean beautiful patchouli Oh my gosh, I just absolutely love this scent. It's just the most beautiful powdery scent ever. Like, I love this. This is the original Tiffany. Now this I have worn out. I've worn this to um, a wedding before and it is just really, really a nice classy, elegant scent, but it's soft and powdery as well. Really nice to wear to bed. Um, also a nice long lasting bedtime scent. Like when I get up in the morning, I still smell it on me. It just really, really smells good and soft and comforting and powdery. And I just love this fragrance. Now this might be a little mature for some people, but for bed, I mean, you want to smell like you grown and sexy. Okay. Like that's what we doing. Okay. I don't want to smell like a little teeny bopper in the bed. I'm just saying. Now this has so many fruits in here, but they are blended so well that it's not like a super fruity fragrance. It's actually very, very powdery and soft. So it has mandarin orange, lemon, bergamot, black currant, patchouli, rose, iris, peach. Like it's so many fruits in here. But when I tell y'all they are not blended like a fruit bomb, they're blended like soft and elegant and i just really enjoy this i want to try rose gold i don't know if that'll be a little too zingy for bed but this one is perfect for bed another one that is soft powdery and elegant is roses goldia from vulgari i absolutely love this scent for bed if you like rose scents this definitely gives rose the actual flower of rose and then it's got that sweetness in it so it's soft powdery elegant just beautiful the longevity on it is not great but that's another reason why i love it for bed because it does the job when i need it to do the job and then i'm sleep you know what i'm saying so i'm getting up the next day showering and putting on new fragrance anyway but for bed honey this does the thing okay i love this scent it's so beautiful so of course this has rose it has bergamot pomegranate musk peony peach sandalwood vanilla it's just really really nice rosy sweet but very very soft subtle calming just beautiful last for powdery and elegant y'all might not think this is powdery and elegant but the way this perfume it just shifts for any type of occasion like it could be a run around running errands it can be going to you know a lunch it can be bedtime it can be like this fragrance does it all and this is Chance, Otandra by Chanel. I love this. I love her because she just does whatever you need her to do for that time. Like, seriously, she's soft and powdery, long lasting. When I wake up in the morning, I'm smelling like Chanel. Like, I am still smelling like 
Chanel. Nice, long-lasting, one of my most long-lasting designer fragrances. I don't know why this one just lasts on my skin so well, but it really does. This one has quince, grapefruit, rose, jasmine, musk, not too many notes. Or maybe they just don't list a lot of them, but girl, it's just good. The quince in there gives it like a nice, juicy type of vibe. But the musk in there and the rose and the jasmine gives it that soft, subtle, you know, mmm type of thing and I just really enjoy this for bed like I really do and, and for everything else too okay y'all now let's get into some sweetness this is ones you want to wear when you want to smell sweet you want to smell edible you want to smell come here to come eat me up you know okay snack meal whatever like come on baby you know so these are ones that I like to pull out for that now a couple of them I just got and they've already been hitting the mark like I cheated and tried them and they worked okay they they did what they were both do first let's start with bdk rouge smoking i purposely bought this to you know just run around and run errands and stuff like that and also purposely bought it for a bit um the like the longevity isn't like super long lasting but it like i said it this gets the job done for the hours that it needs to get the job done. This is Ruby Beer Float. I don't even like Ruby Beer Floats, but I like the way Ruby Beer Floats smell. They smell sweet. They smell creamy. You know what I mean? They smell a little fizzy. And that's what I get from this. Definitely a Ruby Beer Float. Love this. It smells so sweet and good on my skin. So if you're looking for something nice, sweet, that's going to last maybe like three hours for you. I mean, <laughs> if y'all still love doing the thing after three hours, honey, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. You might have to top up or something, but that's more than enough time for me, okay? I'm tired, I'm ready to go to bed, okay? So, yeah, but if you like the way root beer floats smell, you like sweet, creamy, a little fizzy, like this would be great. Here's a couple other replica fragrances that are perfect for bedtime. This one is a new addition and this is Matcha Meditation. Matcha Meditation is green tea and white chocolate. So it's clean and fresh, but sweet. The dry down is sweet and creamy and cozy with that white chocolate. And I do like it. We know replica fragrances don't, you know, have a super long lasting type of deal because they're EDTs, but this one, the creaminess does last pretty good. You do get a few hours out of it. And I just really enjoy wearing this to bed because you have that green tea freshness, cleanness, but then you got that sweet white chocolate. And I really enjoyed this for bed. I bought it purposely for bed. And of course, to just run around, run errands, or just sit in the house and be cozy and clean and sweet. And I really enjoy it. So for bed, it was really, really calming and nice calming because of the green tea and then just nice because of that sweetness from the white chocolate so definitely give this one a try next is coffee break coffee break is amazing for bed it's so creamy and cozy and comforting like i really enjoyed this scent when i wore it um this was on my april tray i believe yep it was on my april tray i'll leave that link for y'all if y'all did not see that i did say i'm gonna I'll go ahead and put this away for the colder months because i really want to get the vibe of it outside in the cooler weather with a nice sweater on you know i really want to get that but wearing this to bed girl it was so beautiful chocolatey creamy coffee cozy like just made you want to snuggle and just you know what i mean it's really like a snuggly fragrance but the sweetness of it from the milk so let me give you the notes and this one it's got pepper in it i don't smell pepper at all orange blossom patchouli vanilla lavender coffee milk cedar vetiver like it's just a beautiful beautiful fragrance the creaminess from the coffee and the milk it just really sings the lavender is not too much it's not doing the most it's not giving me masculine like at all so this is just a really nice comfy cozy sweet scent and i loved it for bed next is one that a lot of us wear out and about we use it for layering like it's just a beautiful sweet scent and you know like i said for bed we like to smell sweet and edible and that's kali vanilla 28 like she is just simple but she's good you know what i'm saying she's not like oh she's vanilla and all of this no she's just vanilla honey and some brown sugar and you know a little bit on the like you know warm side but that's all she is but she's still beautiful simple and beautiful so vanilla 28 has a vanilla of course orchid jasmine we got brown sugar in there tonka amber musk patchouli so it's got a lot of sweet 
goodness in here and this is just so good to wear to bed easy grab and go for bed like easy grab because everybody likes vanilla like who don't like vanilla like so this is just really nice and sweet to wear to bed you don't have to think hard you want to smell good edible girl go on and grab vanilla 28 next is chocolate greedy by Montel. i don't know if y'all ever thought about just wearing chocolate to bed but honey <laughs> give it a try because chocolate is a bomb fragrance to wear to bed and honey don't mess around and mix these two and smell like a whole chocolate covered marshmallow type of vibe girl <laughs> he's gonna be ready okay chocolate is just a good vibe for bed chocolate is sweet it's edible it's sexy chocolate is just chocolate you know what i'm saying this one by my towel is just one of the best chocolates it's cocoa vanilla tonka coffee it's got some dried fruits and bitter orange but baby when i tell you it's just like chocolate it's just like chocolate just like y'all layer vanilla 28 with stuff you can layer this with things too and give them a creaminess a sweetness and stuff like that i love wearing this around valentine's day it's just so so nice but perfect for bed it gives you that sweet chocolate vibe and it's you know you can do a whole lot of things with chocolate in the bed so it gives you that vibe trust me <laughs> last but not least for bedtime a good one is scandal by night this is actually very nice for bed i just decided to wear it to bed one night and it was a hit like okay the bottle is already sexy which is what made me pick it up for bed when i did the first time and i thought like maybe this might be too much it might be too sweet or too like not maybe not appropriate for bed maybe more date night or something like that but it was actually great for bed because of the sweetness like he absolutely loved it pulled you in like come here you smell good come here you know what i'm saying it's got honey bitter orange it's got cherry musk tuberose pear taco vanilla so you just hear all of that sweetness in it and it wasn't too overpowering it wasn't too much it was just really really beautiful and sexy for bed so if you have not tried this for bed definitely give it a try and see how your partner likes so those were some of my favorite bedtime fragrances and i'll let you know why and when i wear them so thank you so much for watching this video if you like fragrances for bed let me know some of your favorites i'll see you guys in the next video bye